The GK64. It might be the world's tiniest gaming keyboard, but it started its life as a DIY custom build and has since been picked up and pushed into mass production by a company called Suino. Thanks to Gearbest for sending this along for us to look at, and if you like what you see, you can find out more by using the link in the description below. The GK64 arrives in the box you see here, but taking it out, you'll find a keyboard that's fairly close to your standard 60%, meaning it doesn't have function or number keys or your middle navigation key set, but it does have arrow keys, really making it more of a 64% as seen in the name. None of that functionality is lost, however, as the GK64 is rich with secondary commands printed on the side legends. It comes in a nice two-piece aluminum case with some stylish cutouts on the sides. The model we were sent doesn't have any branding whatsoever, but I have heard of some models having the Suino logo on the underside. The aluminum case also lends it a nice two and a half pound weight and really eliminates any flex you might experience. It features a nice set of PBT keycaps, which are more durable and resistant to shine and just feel much better to type on. Although note that on the product listing, it currently has these as ABS and that is incorrect. I'm a big fan of the colorway here too, with that beige, gray, and red giving it a nice but simple aesthetic. Also included in the box is a wire keycap puller with a clicky switch button on the top and a detachable USB Type-C cable that's braided but thin so it doesn't kink or drag on your desk. You also have a switch puller as the GK64 also has hot swappable switch sockets, but this is really pretty simple and a bit difficult to work with. Removing the keycaps, we find genuine Cherry MX Blue switches that offer a nice tactile clicky feedback. While these are often lauded for writing purposes, they work very well in games, though if you're a streamer, you may hear them over your broadcast, so you'll want to have a noise gate. If you'd rather swap them out, it's as simple as gripping the top and bottom tabs and pulling straight up. A new switch can easily be added simply by lining up the pins and pressing down. This has been one of the funnest aspects of the GK64 is you can try out new switches for less money than buying a new keyboard, and I've already found a couple new favorites with the Kale Bronze switches and some of their new box switches. The GK64 also features gorgeous RGB underlighting underneath the key set. It comes with a handful of neat effects, including your standard rainbow waves and reactive lighting, but there's a couple unique ones in there as well, including a sound reactive mode that uses a microphone underneath the spacebar. Yes, you heard that right, a microphone under the spacebar, but it really is pretty neat. You can also adjust these for speed, or in the case of the mic, sensitivity. It's also nice to see that you can store a handful of lighting effects right on the keyboard to take it with you on the go. The keyboard does come with a full software suite, which is really how it becomes a gaming keyboard. The GK6X Plus software allows you to set custom lighting profiles, record macros, or map your layout, or even do things like map mouse clicks or launch programs from individual keys. The downside to this program really is that it feels fairly early, and there's still some translation issues present that can make it a bit confusing. For example, it refers to using the keyboard on a computer with the software as being online or offline when it's plugged into a computer without, when we would naturally think about it being on the internet or not. So fear not, it's not actually online or offline. Typing on the GK64 is just great. If you've never typed on a keyboard with a full aluminum body, you really have to give it a try because it really does change the way the keys feel, and the added density of the aluminum body is very, very nice. The GK64 really is an impressive little keyboard. It delivers on what mechanical keyboard enthusiasts look for in build quality and key feel, but also features the kind of programmability that gamers crave. Thank you again to Gearbest for sending it out, and thank you to you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, if you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button below and to subscribe so you don't miss another. Thanks for watching!